Hi, we're Chelsea and Michael. And this is the Coffee with Creators podcast. Think of it as hanging out with your buddies as we chat about content creation, social media, and life in general as creatives. So grab your favorite drink and welcome to our scrappy little podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to yet again, another episode of Coffee with Creators. How are you, Michael? Hello, hello, Chelsea. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Feeling yeah. much better now. Yeah, earlier during the the warm up session that we've we've uh, we've been talking for like what two hours already I think. probably I think we started at like twelve thirty yeah like an hour. Oh, it's like an hour yeah and then it's uh it, it I was just not feeling it I was just like I don't feel excited I just feel really tired I just feel like I don't want to do this but this is our last episode for this season so we have to do this yes, yes we are wrapping up for the season you guys we have had a wonderful season and. Today, I think we're just doing like a little bit of a recap, a little bit of giving back to our community, which is you wonderful ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to maybe give you guys some insight and things that we've learned and things that we've learned not to do. So yeah, the theme for today's episode is basically um, how it started and how it's going, right? Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's like a trending, what is it, a meme? I is that a meme? A meme. Yeah. Okay. Grandpa Michael doesn't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I I'm see not. it everywhere. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be what we are going to be talking about today. Uh, I think that's just a appropriate for, you know, ending the season. And let me just say this, Chelsea. I never thought that we would have 39 episodes no, after this. Me either. 39 me either. episodes under our belt. I honestly thought after the pilot went so terribly that we would do another pilot and then maybe one or two more episodes and then be finished. But here we are. We're rocking it. We're killing it. I know. <laughs> I feel like. I don't know if we really are, but. No, I mean, the, the fact that we are excited to do every episode, I am honestly genuinely excited. Except for today, I was just really, really tired. I was really tired. Water. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. So I went downstairs and got a glass of water and I'm like, oh, that's amazing. I didn't know water could do that. So <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. Actually, It felt good. So just uh, I was probably just dehydrated because I was feeling um, kind of bloated, like like my skin was just not it's it just felt really, really it felt like a, I was hungover. Mm -hmm. And it's been oh, a yeah. while since I actually had a drink. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm definitely not hungover. So <laughs> I think I was just dehydrated. dehydrated. Yeah. But I'm feeling much better, and okay. um, I'm actually excited to to do this last episode because yeah, it's um, we, Chelsea and I have been talking in the in you know behind the scenes about our plans for Coffee with Creators, and we have a lot of really exciting things in store for you guys. And there's definitely some changes that's going to be happening on season two, and these are these changes are mostly from from feedback and also from our personal assessment of how this year went. And so mm -hmm. we definitely want to offer you guys um, content that is exclusive to this, this particular podcast, meaning we, we trying, we're trying not to be just like everyone else, right? Like there's a reason why you guys started following us and listen, you started listening to us and supporting us. And we want to stay true to that, that core. And mm -hmm. so we're excited. And everything that's going to happen in season two, well, you just have to wait. And hopefully it'll be a lot less messy than maybe. season one. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. We're taking a couple weeks off. And then when we start back, it's going to be like rust buckets. But right. I don't know, maybe not. I'm just kidding. I'm like, uh oh, how do you work this thing again? But I don't know if you guys noticed this. Uh, we actually have, Chelsea and I both have Roadcaster um, pros right now. Which is a we game do. changer for the podcast. It really is. It's like we're in the same room because everything is recorded just on one track. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Um, we should talk about that. We should talk about equipment. We should talk mm -hmm. about why we purchased or we we upgraded to like whatever you know stuff that we're using right now. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe we should start this episode definitely as you know looking back to our very first episode back in mm -hmm. April. Originally, we wanted to do something along the lines of let's play a clip from the first episode and compare it and just talk about it. But then we realize that that's going to take like five hours of your day if we keep For doing sure. that. And we probably don't even know 
how to record that in that sense. Oh, Chelsea, look at my face. Look at my. I know. You've been frozen for a second there. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like the ultimate eye roll. If you guys yep. are watching this on YouTube, then you will see my <laughs> masterful eye roll right now. I don't know why my camera just stopped. So I'm just going to click on that to stop right now and see if it resolves itself. And it did not. So, oh, well, you're just going to have to listen to my voice for the time That's being. So that should be fine. At least pictures up there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still there. Why does it? <laughs> I don't know. That's great. <laughs> it's Ready so to end awesome. the season. I know. Told you. Season two. That's Our new motto right now is whatever mistakes we make, we're, we're like, season two, it. it'll be better. Yeah. Another another great thing from this Um you guys that are watching on YouTube and you can see his frozen face is never think that things are going to go swimmingly because they never usually do. I mean, we're 39 episodes deep and Michael is frozen with an eye roll. So <laughs> don't let that stop rid of you. That. Don't let it stop you. Just keep going. Definitely don't let that stop you. And you know, Chelsea and I are just on brand. We're just, uh, uh yeah, yeah, we're just, Trying to figure things out as we, yeah, as we go along. So, um, so what do you think, Chelsea, 39 episodes later, how do you feel? How do you feel overall in this whole podcasting thing? Do you think you can, uh, call yourself an actual podcaster now? That's what I was, I was, what I was about to say. Um, no, I mean, I I don't feel (laughs) like a podcaster, but I also don't feel like a photographer either. Mm -hmm. But podcaster is one that I always leave off. Like when people ask what I do, I always forget that I'm a podcaster. And it's funny because I'm probably more known for being the other half of Coffee with Creators than I'm known for my own like photography and, and stuff like that. So no, I mean, we've definitely learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, as we've gone on, I don't know that I feel any different than when we first started back in April. Um, I definitely, I'm more confident when, when talking to other people, um, I don't get like nervous. I remember our first, our pilot episode that was never released. I remember just sitting there and my shirt was soaked with sweat. I was so nervous and I have no idea why I was that nervous because Michael is just another guy like everyone else. And I had talked to him before. Um, but I definitely, I don't get that anymore. I'm not super nervous to talk to Michael. Also, as you guys probably know Michael likes to talk quite a bit more than me. Um, (laughs) And I learned very early on that if I wanted to say anything, if I wanted my voice to be heard, I kind of had to just wiggle my way in. So I've learned, I've learned to do that to just kind of nip Michael at the bud and be like, Hey, my turn to talk. Yeah. Yeah. She knows my little, the little nuances and yeah, you know, like when to step in or just jump in. Actually, yeah, you don't, you can't even with me, you can't even just like wiggle your way in. You just kind of have to jump in. You have to just say, okay, well, as fun as that conversation was, <laughs> we might need to jump on. <laughs> Be like, anyway, Michael. Yeah. Shut up. So yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's a, one of the things that I've learned too, to, to be more mindful mm-hmm. when I'm talking too much. Cause I do yeah. talk a lot and I've, I've made no secret about this. My wife <laughs> says that all the time. Like she's embarrassed. Whenever I'm talking to someone like at a party and she's going to be like, she's the type of person who will apologize ahead of time. It'll be like, I'm sorry, my wife, my husband talks a lot. So, so I'm just that guy. Right. Yeah. So I, I, during the podcast, like in the beginning, I just kept talking and talking and talking and talking about nonsense and I still do, but I've, I think I've gotten a bit better. I think I've started to listen a little bit more to what I say and I've mm-hmm. definitely, um, I'm more in tune to what, uh, like when, when Chelsea needs to jump in and say something. So I'm a little bit more aware of that. I try, yeah. I try. So that's definitely one of those things that you really just have to learn as you yeah. go along. Yeah. You really do. It's just something that, that comes with time. And it, it did come with time. Cause I, I've not gone back and listened to any of our, our first episodes, but maybe, I mean, maybe I should. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, I was there in person. I remember how they went. And so I can only imagine it was just a lot of Michael talking and then me, <laughs> like you asking me a question and then I would answer. And then now, like, while, while you're talking, I'm like, I will just jump in and say something. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that's one, one major thing that I've, I've kind of learned and overcome. Cause I remember in the beginning, like our first pilot episode, I 
was scared to jump in because I didn't want to step on your toes. But I think that comes along with, um, you know, I didn't know you that well. Yeah. Now it's just like, Michael's like a best friend that I've had for years. We insult each other now. (laughs) Yeah. We know each other now and I don't care to like, just cut you off mid sentence. (laughs) You know, if we're going to do this thing together, like those had to go out the window in the beginning and they did. Absolutely. And that's what, what, that's what I love. You know what I mean? Like the, when we started this, we wanted this to be a hangout. Like we were Mm -hmm. hanging out with friends and if we were just way too formal, Mm-hmm. with each other i'll be like well you're boring chelsea <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> i don't want to talk to you yeah 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 we we've never taken it very seriously and i think that's why people like to listen to us is because we're relatable or we're real i think one of the f- maybe second or third episode or maybe it was the first episode i don't, i can't even remember now but you asked how my week was going and i said well my daughter shit in the floor so <laughs> yeah it's been better but that that was the marker where we we took our friendship to another level like oh we're talking about shit now (laughs) okay (laughs) it's playing it all out (laughs) yeah and you know we've overcome like a lot of things together i think just because we've all been in such a weird time and when we started this the world would you know was going through so many different things and so we've kind of evolved around that and around each other and i it's i need to i want to go back and listen to see how different we were even though it's only been eight months i know i've changed a lot as a person and i know michael has too i'm sure yeah definitely eight months is a long time like think about when you when you set on to do something uh it can be anything right uh, mm-hmm. let's just say for the sake of this this point um mm-hmm. exercising if you mm-hmm. exercise for three months it changes you it changes yeah. you the way you look at yourself, the way you feel, the way you mm-hmm. look. And then that's just three months. So imagine eight months of doing this, Chelsea. And we were doing this in the beginning. It's so funny too, because we were doing this once a week. Yeah. And we're like, you know what? I think we can do an extra episode. And we started just like stacking our episodes to the point where we were double booking. And I'm like, oh my God, we, we basically just shot ourselves in the foot. But the good thing about that, I mean, none of those were perfect. Some of them yeah. went better than the others. And mm-hmm. we've definitely had really interesting de- guests and really good conversations. Mm-hmm. But um, I think we just, bless you. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I tried to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> but we basically just like ran through the door and like, yeah, let's, let's just wing this thing. You know, we were mm-hmm. very gung-ho about it. And although it wasn't perfect, we did learn a lot of things. And I think that was the point in the beginning, ever since, at least for me, was that I want to make as many mistakes as possible so I know Mm -hmm. not to make them anymore. So I wasn't even looking at it from a, I was looking at it from a very um, like long distance point of view. What do you call it? Like a, just like a long-term goals, right? So it's not like by three months from now, I want to be this, I want to be that. No, it's like, yeah. How are we going to sound or look or how is this podcast going to be by 2021? Mm-hmm. And so I'm glad, Chelsea, that we did that. I'm glad that we we went we went through 38 episodes just so we can yeah. figure out the kinks. And I'll I'll admit this, we haven't figured out every okay. single thing. Michael's but- frozen with an eye roll. <laughs> Have nothing figured out. Have we learned anything? I don't know. I'm actually a ventriloquist. I'm actually just, <laughs> I'm actually just sitting still here and I'm still talking. But let me try to fix that camera. But one, one funny thing that I've learned um, about ourselves is Michael and I are the clowns, and a lot of the guests that we have, or some of the guests we have, they're they're not like that. No. And Michael and I will crack a joke and they're just like sitting there stone faced and we're like, oh, are we the idiots? <laughs> or do, are we're not that funny, are we? That's, that's <laughs> one of the challenges too, because like we always assume that we're funny. Mm-hmm. Or maybe that's just me. Absolutely. You know well, what I mean? Like we laugh at each other. Yes. Like when each other does something funny, like we'll laugh. Right. So it'll just be us two laughing and the guest is just like, Mm-mm, no next <laughs> that wasn't oh funny God. i don't i don't know why you guys are laughing i know yeah, exactly yeah. it's so embarrassing but oh well, well i mean it's it's one I of like those it. yeah it's one of those things that you have to learn too like you you kind of have to learn how to read people 
Yeah, and, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you have to learn how to read people, and you still won't get them. You won't get them yeah. right. No, it's no, just, no, no. yeah, it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a hot mess. So um, another thing that I think I'd like to point out is that in the beginning, we we would kind of just like hit record and start talking. Mm -hmm. And we evolved from just winging it to actually making notes. Yeah. Right. We'd make notes to the point where the notes were so detailed that we yeah. were reading every single thing. And so at that point, we were just like reporting. Yeah. And maybe some people didn't notice it, but I definitely I knew that it felt scripted. Yeah. Right. And that in the beginning, we didn't want it scripted. We didn't want it to be some televised like thing that was perfect because we we didn't want to come across as perfect because of, of a lot of people you know who follow us on instagram and youtube they they already have that mentality about you and yeah. so that was like the opposite as of what we were trying to portray for this podcast and so as we were kind of going down that road we were like you know we need to pull back the reins and kind of take it back to where not so much of where we're just hitting record and talking but it doesn't need to be so scripted. It doesn't either. need to be scripted. I think we were just looking for structure. Like so that Yeah, I mean, and we were we were like throwing in a lot of guests too, and we wanted to maybe be more professional than we are. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't think that's yeah. ever gonna happen. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not professional. I mean, I've never been professional. I've never had like a real professional job. Mm-hmm. And it luckily it's just worked out for me. Like I have my own business now. I don't have to be super, I mean, I have to be professional to a, a point to yes. a certain level, mm -hmm. you know, our brands, not, they're not going to work with me if I'm like a child, <laughs> but yeah, I, I like, I don't know. I like being able to show my true self on the podcast. It's one thing that I can't, or that I've not even mastered yet through, through YouTube. And I think that's because I have someone to talk to. That's another thing I've learned. Like I can be myself on the podcast because I'm actually talking to someone. I'm talking to Michael rather than just looking at a camera and talking to myself. Yeah. I think when we first started talking, when we were discussing the possibility of actually starting this podcast, we were sharing, the, I was sharing the same thing. I said that my biggest weakness is that I can't talk on my own. I can't have mm -hmm. a solo podcast because I'm terrible with just like telling, stor telling stories on my own. I mean, me right too. now I'm boring myself. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, I, I work better when I'm bouncing off of someone else, uh, mm -hmm. someone else's ideas and opinions and just like, you know, grabbing little bits of information and just working with that. But if mm -hmm. I, if I don't have anyone to work with, I'm just going to be like, okay, so up next, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so it's going it to be weird. Be, it would be just five minutes of me telling some bullshit story and then calling it a day right yeah i would have never been able to do a podcast by myself i never even Me thought neither. about doing a podcast by myself because when i think of podcasting i think it's two people conversing yeah you know yeah. unless they're telling like a true crime story or something right. you know or it's, it's something like that they've got like a tangible story that they're telling otherwise i feel podcasting is between two two people or more mm -hmm. so. there are a few people out there who are interesting enough who have interesting lives or maybe not even interesting lives but interesting ways of looking at their life uh mm -hmm. looking at their day that they can tell a very compelling maybe humorous or i don't know just like an interesting story that will catch or that will keep the listener's attention and i think matt i am milks i am milks does does that yeah. like i think i think his personality Really, yeah. really shines when when he's selling stories, and he's just like he's just like that type of guy. You know, he can he can do a podcast and not you know worry about if there's someone else there or not. And we yeah. were actually just chatting with him last night um, for a good what two hours? <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah we started hours, at six thirty yeah. my time. We ended at eight thirty. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Um, well, also, I Max, like I I know I'm not caught up with Max's podcast, but. He has a very, like, he definitely has a different pace, you know? Mm -hmm. So I guess my point is, if you're listening to this and you've always wanted to start a podcast, I say go for it. Just try it. You know, you'll never really know what what your strengths are if you don't figure it out, and, if you don't try yeah, it. Yeah, until you just do it. Just start. Yeah. Just figure it out along the way. I mean, I think a lot of things are figured out that way. You're not born knowing 
anything. You kind of have to figure it out as you go along. So I think that is really how content creation works, especially. So, yeah. And I'm surprised too. Like, I think the more open we are about Mm -hmm. our little mistakes and our little shortcomings, Mm -hmm. it's, you know, the audience are, they're more forgiving and they're more supportive because then they're like, you know, they're just like everyone else. And yes, we are just like everyone else. And then you start to not beat up yourself too much about it. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think, um, I think that it, this podcast has definitely been very helpful for my own personal growth. You know, that's how I feel uh, mm-hmm. when I think about it, like the, in, in the last eight months. And it's also brought us like really good um, new relationships and um, partnerships, right? Like like opportunities. Yeah. I think that's the word I was looking for. You mm-hmm. know, we started to meet other creators. We started to meet other people. We started to connect with them. And if you told me eight months ago that we would be interviewing Peter, Peter Lindgren right. and, and Caleb Logic, right? It's, it's like, mm, how's that going to happen? I know. Yeah. I know. When I reached out to um, our friends over at SwitchPod, just because I was legit about to buy one, but I was like, well, you know, let me see if maybe they'll sponsor a post. So I reached out and Caleb was like, oh, I totally know you guys. I listen to your podcast. I love yours and Michael's setups. Like I look to you guys for inspiration. I was like, shut the front door. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. And he, you know, mentioned, he was like, I would love to come on your podcast. I'm like, well, you come right on over, you know? Yeah. But (laughs) let's hit hit the brakes a little bit, Chelsea, because I feel like when, when we say that, then people who might be listening are like, well, yeah, I mean, obviously you guys already have a good page, a good Instagram page, good mm-hmm. setups, and we have all the foundation for, you know, better success rates, I guess, and, you know, for whatever we're doing in the future for people that we meet. So let's hit the brakes for a little bit. Chelsea mm-hmm. and I, talking back to like our our setups, our humble beginnings, you know, our Instagram mm-hmm. pages, it wasn't that glamorous to begin with. Like you can scroll back all the way down to my Instagram page. I left everything there. You'll see my first setup. You'll see my my iMac. It was a 2015 iMac. It wasn't even the fully specced out one yet. And it, you know, I just had like a big desk and I decided, oops, I decided to um just make a little shelf or add a little shelf on the wall so I could put some stuff in. And that's pretty much how it started. And I just evolved along with, you know, Basically, what you see in my Instagram, it's just a highlight reel. But yeah. in the, even if I didn't have my Instagram, I was still evolving it. I was still making the space better. I was still making my working environment better or more inspiring. And I was kind of documenting it. I had the love for photography. So I just, you know, my skill in photography, I just used it to take pictures of my setup. But the intention wasn't to have the best looking setup on Instagram. Definitely not. It was. It's still not. It's just... This is me. This is where I like to work in. And yeah, and now it has, it's kind of just like snowballed into this. Now we have a podcast. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, but you start from from somewhere. Yeah, same. I mean, I'm on my Instagram right now because I kind of forgot what was like one of my first photos that I started of like a setup. And it's when we moved here uh, to Georgia from Hawaii. And we had this extra bedroom and I was like, this is going to be my office. I had no intentions of documenting or putting anything on Instagram of my home office. It was literally where I was going to store my giant softbox light because in our house in Hawaii, I had it to just stuff it like in a closet, a spare closet that we had. So this spare room was literally just going to be that where I could keep this light set up all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think I found like, maybe I came across Michael's page and I was like, oh, maybe I'll snap a photo of like the progress of my home office and see what happens. So I did that. And I, I think I posted for like a week straight and things really just started to snowball. But when I first started, it was just, I didn't even have like a riser or anything. It was, I'm looking at it right now. It's just uh, my laptop, my iPad and a lacy hard drive sitting on a white desk. <laughs> so you all, you all have to start somewhere and that's, that's where Michael and I started. But yeah, I had I had no intentions of ever, ever showing this much of my life on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's that, that border where you're just afraid to cross, right? Like mm-hmm. that you have to have a little bit of courage 
to cross that, to take that first step. And it is scary. We're not, I'm not, we're not denying it. It's very scary to make that first step. Mm -hmm. But as you go along and you'll feel a little bit of resistance, you still feel resistance, even though you're a little bit more experienced, but mm -hmm. it doesn't bother you as much anymore. So you'll feel, it's like you're wading through mud in the beginning mm -hmm. when you're trying to find your footing. And then eventually it gets a little bit better. And then you, you realize like, I mean, I don't know, personally, when I think about the, you know, the last eight months, I always think I should have started earlier. Yeah, right? for sure. Yeah, I should have started earlier because I didn't, I still don't have the, the, like eight months ago, if I look at someone who has a podcast and who has all this equipment that I have right now, like mm -hmm. this particular table, just everything, I would think that I have, I don't have the necessary um, or the skills or whatever it is that would take to actually have something like this. Mm -hmm. But eight months later, here I am, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I look back, I'm like, I didn't really add anything. I didn't really have a special skill. It's just, I learned along the way, little by little, I adjusted. And then, you know, we've upgraded our equipment and we used like the cheapest mics, or I, at least I used the cheap, cheapest mics. I was actually even thinking of just using my phone to begin mm -hmm. with, because I really didn't have anything. And yeah. I didn't want to go and buy the most expensive thing because that's just not a wise thing to do especially if you're just trying to figure out like what if this podcast isn't a thing for me and that's the thing too like how would you know if it's not if you're not good um at you know something if you don't even try it out right for sure so yeah just to encourage people if you you want to do something you know don't be afraid i mean it's okay to be afraid but have a little bit of courage to actually take that leap and try it out because you might be surprised you, might, you just might be surprised yeah I'm surprised every day. I know. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, Chelsea, we just hit the 27 minute marker. So mm -hmm. we're going to take a few minutes to kind of um, regroup and figure yeah. things out. Like I'm going to try to fix this camera and we yeah. shall be back. So you guys hang tight. And we are back. Welcome back, Chelsea. Welcome back. I hope they enjoyed the ad. I know. The, the little blank space. Because right now we don't have any ads, but... No, ads. <laughs> no well, we, the, we, we the just... could be of me complaining about what I spent my money on this one. But... Why did you tell the ladies and gentlemen your story, Chelsea? Yeah, so... Peter, if, if you guys follow Peter McKinnon, you know that he does these random drops that he lets his followers know sometimes the day before. Most of the time, it's like 30 minutes before. And I've never, ever, ever, ever been able to see what he was selling because when they sell out, it disappears. You don't get to see it. So this morning I saw that it was going to be live in like five minutes. So I sat there and I waited and I refreshed and I refreshed. Finally, I was able to go in. And before I knew it, I had spent $250 on a 24 karat gold pirate skeleton key. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It may look good in pictures, I'm hoping. I have no idea. I don't know why I bought it. I really don't. Well, you know, but, I know why you bought it. You want to you want to support your favorite creator. Like he needs my support. He sold five boxes that cost a thousand dollars a piece within three minutes. But that's the thing though, like you don't have to like even though <laughs> even even though that you know that they're doing well. Yeah. Like to support someone is to support someone. So I think I think you're fine, Chelsea. I would be upset if that was just some random dude that you didn't know, but everyone's buying their stuff. Then I'll be like, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I know. I always wanted to just get something like of his because I don't have anything other than like his coffee. But we buy the coffee because we genuinely like James Coffee Company, not because I follow Peter McKinnon. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so now I have it. Very expensive key. The, what that it I wonder what James is going to say. You're like, what the f Chelsea? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I always tell him, like, it's a business expense. So it came from my business right. card. And he's like, okay. I mean, it did. I, it was money that I earned from yeah. Yeah. my business. But <laughs> still, yeah. he's going to be like, you know, like, dinging it across his teeth. teeth. You sure it's his carrot? No. <laughs> I can, I can picture James actually doing that. He's that person. He's that person. He's like, this is a piece of shit. And he's like banging it on the counter. <laughs> so funny. I love that. Yeah. Well, I figured out the camera issue. Now at least my my face isn't a, an epic eye roll anymore. So 
It was like a, a progression of an epic eye roll to a blank screen. Yeah. So. Yeah. It was so epic that the, the computer just couldn't handle it, even with this M1 computer. It's like, man, that eye roll is just way too much. I'm going to shut off his camera right now. Um, it was actually Zoom that was messing yeah. things up. And I was just telling Chelsea, isn't it funny? Like, you'd think by now, you'd think by now we'd figured out the kinks, but no. That's, that's <laughs> things that we can't control. You know, I mean, you can't yeah. control Zoom and yeah. And that's Stuff the thing. Like that. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's the thing too. Like it's never going to be perfect. No. So you guys just have to keep trying and just own up to it. Like, well, yeah, we're not perfect. We're, that's why we like calling ourselves the scrappy little podcast because we're just figuring things out. And I think it was Matt in vision who said that he said, wow, the scrappy little podcast actually has a pretty nice setup. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, it is embarrassing to, to, to share that, you know, to call ourselves scrappy, but I stand by that. I still think we're scrappy because we don't know everything. And I, we're still, trying to figure things out. And over the course of eight months, we figured out that, okay, this microphone, I've gone through three microphones. So many. Yeah, so many. this is my favorite one, the pod mic. And this was through a recommendation by Tom Buck. If you follow him, that's the thing too. I wanna to share other creators who mm -hmm. I think I've learned a lot from them. So Tom Buck, and I know he went on Jared Spink's podcast, The Hive. Okay. And also he is the co-host of Peter Lindgren in their podcast called A Podcast. So um, he's very knowledgeable when it comes to like microphones and road uh -huh. products. And yeah, I definitely binged on his videos. And this setup right here, like this this multi-arm thingy, what was that, what's that beeping? Was that you, Chelsea? I got a text, my bad. Okay, no, no, no worries. See, I told you, like... If they if they watch this and if they listen to this episode, I'm sure they'll still hear a bunch of like notifications that we couldn't figure out how to shut up. <laughs> like at the, at the end of the day, you guys, Michael and I are a country apart. I'm on the East Coast. Michael's on the West Coast. We're directly across the country from each other. And we are only in our homes. We are not in some fancy studios. So. Yeah. And we don't have... um technical people around us. And despite what you, I mean, you see us, we talk about tech products and everything, but that doesn't mean we're experts. I definitely am not an expert when it comes to everything tech. I'm just sharing my impressions as like an average consumer, right? Like I'm an actual consumer because that's really who I am. So I share whatever it is my experiences using that particular tech. So that said, all this stuff, like all these like equipment that I have right now, I've had to watch um, YouTube videos. I've had to Google stuff and just read a bunch of things to figure out what I actually needed and yeah. what would work best for right. for this application, right? So um, don't be don't be too concerned of what to buy or what you know what we're using and you know what you need for your podcast or for your YouTube. But um, maybe this will be an interesting question, Chelsea. What's the one item that you absolutely love that you have right now? after eight months of doing this? Did you think the it's just essential? Oh, I mean, I love the Rodecaster Pro. I don't necessarily think it's essential. I, I guess um, it doesn't have to be essential, but. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Rodecaster, Rodecaster Pro. Yeah. That's Why great. is that? Why do you love that? It's so easy to use. I literally plug it into my computer with one thing and I hit one button to start recording. When I first started, when Michael and I first started uh, eight months ago, I was using uh, an H4N Zoom, which is like a handheld recorder. And what I was doing was plugging that into my computer and then plugging my mic into that and using that recorder, the Zoom recorder as an interface. And that worked fine until mm -hmm. it didn't, until <laughs> it messed up the, I was recording like on one thing was recording 48 kilohertz or the other one was recording like 44 kilohertz. So it sounded like I was a chipmunk. Um, it was Jared who had to pay for that. <laughs> oh, poor Jared. We had to re-record. Anyway, you guys probably know that story, but yeah, I like the, the, the Rodecaster Pro because it's super user-friendly. Like I just, I plug it in, I turn it on and. I start recording and with the zoom, I couldn't leave things set up because it, 
just a lot of cords and things. And with the Roadcaster Pro, I can leave it set up. I can have, you know, a designated area and I like that. So. And you don't have to have a, um, like, uh, what do you call this? Like, you can literally just take the Roadcaster on its own. You don't have a, you don't need to have a computer. You don't have to. That's yeah. what I love too. Because with the Zoom, I had to, I was only using that as an interface. So I, I had to have some other recording thing. Like I was using Adobe Audition, but there's others. But with the the Roadcaster, it records directly onto that. Yeah. You don't have to have anything else, which is nice. Yeah, you can put you can put a little like SD card in, in there and Darn. it'll start recording. And it, here's a little behind the scenes, guys. Like when we started this, and we recently just got, I, I recently just got the Roadcaster Pro. Like seven months later, basically, I got the Roadcaster Pro. And up until then, what we would do is I would record my audio on GarageBand. Chelsea would record her audio on Adobe Audition. And then our guests as well would record their own audios. And at the end of everything, they basically email me all the audio clips and I would just splice it and cut it on GarageBand. And that's a lot of work. Like not I practical for once a week, sometimes not. twice a week. I mean, we were yeah. banging these things out like left and right. Yeah. And poor Michael was left doing doing with doing all the editing because I sucked at it. But anyways. I mean, it's a, I had a workflow going. Yeah. And it's like it just doesn't make sense for me to move that or give that burden to Chelsea because it's like then she has to relearn things. And and if I have a workflow down, then you know, I, I'll I'll do it. But yeah, it it was basically I would spend hours editing each episode mm -hmm. and just like uploading them and everything. So I'm like, I need to figure this one out. Like we even thought about doing, um, hiring someone to just edit it, but still that didn't, that didn't really work out because yeah. the things that that person was doing, we did it for a little bit, but yeah. the, uh, how fast the turnover is. I mean, like, you know, before they, they give us back the final product, it just didn't make sense for me. I, I think it's still better if I edit it myself since I have a, a, a system going and I just tried to make it as efficient as possible. So that's that's how my workflow was or our workflow was for seven months. And until I got when I got the roadcaster, uh, the procaster, now I literally just hit record because my voice and Chelsea's voice are being picked up by this device. And the only thing that we're using right now that's on the computer is basically the webcam or our mm -hmm. camera so we can see each other when we talk. But now I'm also using OBS, which I'm learning right now how to use it just because we want to capture the, 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 the video and the audio. But it's just amazing how we just press a button and it records everything and then we j literally just upload it. So whatever we hear right now is exactly what's going to sound like in the Procaster. And yeah. we don't have to sync anything and we don't have to splice. I mean, I might have to splice some things if, you know, yeah. if Chelsea said a curse word. <laughs> I did say because I said a bad one. <laughs> to someone it's bad and to my mother it's bad. So I can't let her hear that. Because <laughs> um, I still have respect for her, obviously. But, um, <laughs> you know, Michael said that we, the only thing we're using on our computers is Zoom so we can see each other. And you don't have to do that. Michael and I, you know, from the beginning, we wanted to have like some type of visual medium where we could see each other's faces just so we could have a normal conversation. Because mm -hmm. I know I know people who record podcasts all day long and they're only doing it through through audio, which is completely fine. That's what you want. Yeah. Go for it. Um, but Michael and I like to be able to see each other's faces, especially since we've never met in person we've mm -hmm. only met through um mediums like this we we think we feel it's important to be able to see each other's face to have a normal conversation it's very important that there, there's a connection that's that's lost yeah. when you just hear someone absolutely and it, not to say that it's not good enough it's just it's better if you see someone right when you're interacting especially when we're doing something goofy right like yeah. if chelsea did something funny and that doesn't really translate to audio if I'm yeah. not seeing it, I'm like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> you know, yeah. like, why is she giggling <laughs> over there? So it doesn't make sense. But yeah, it it helped. It's just amazing how with technology now, right? Like it like doing a podcast remotely is normal. We wouldn't have been able to do this ten years ago. No, Maybe. not even a year ago. I, Five I don't years think. ago. Yeah, because because we're just not. It's not mainstream enough. Like no one would even think that this is 
this is um, feasible, I guess. Yeah. Maybe there are people who are just behind, a, you know, behind things, <laughs> you know, knowing playing. us. Yeah. So I we're always know. just playing catch up. <laughs> but um, so, Chelsea, I think um, as a year ender, as a season ender, I think I would like to share a couple of um, creators that I would like to give credit to of this course. year for, you know, my own personal inspiration and growth and just people that other people might want to follow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a couple sure. people in mind too? I have um, some. Yes, I do. Um, I mean, it's people that we've because yeah, I'm, the only reason I'm asking that because Chelsea didn't and I didn't really talk about this. Like we didn't really make a list or anything, but we said, "Hey, let's uh, maybe let's um, give back to the community and you know, give yeah. credit where credit is due and just you know shout out some some people." And I think I would like definitely w would want to do that. And I'm gonna start off with I am Michael Evans. If he's listening, I was to gonna this. say him too. <laughs> Haha, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> Me yeah. first. So I love this guy. Because of yeah. his content, his personality, he's been a big supporter since the the beginning. And day not, one, he's been a supporter of both Michael and I. Day like, one, yeah. Anything we do, he's one of the first ones to to comment. He's always like, he's a regular listener of mm -hmm. the podcast. He always watches all my YouTube videos. He's just an an incredible support system. I really appreciate yeah. him being yeah. just so kind all the time. Exactly, and that's the thing, right? Like, I can't even stress how thankful. I am personally to him because he sends me questions sometimes about certain things, right? Like we're, we're all different people with different um, life experiences and different day to days. And sometimes the questions that he sends me just gets me thinking. And sometimes that's where I pull some of the topics that we talk about here mm -hmm. in the podcast from his questions. And I'm actually still using that pool of questions that he would send me occasionally to, um, create more content. So for that, I definitely want to say thank you to, to, to Michael and, um, yeah, also for the support and also congratulations. He is, I think he's not 11,000 right now followers. Is he at 11? Yeah. It's crazy. I thought he just hit 10. I didn't know. That's he was what at I 11. thought. I thought he's at, I think he's at 11 now. And mm -hmm. it's so funny because in the beginning he was, he was an out, like he would always say that he's an introvert. Mm-hmm. That shows you 11, 11.6. 11. He's passed me. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. I love it's awesome. that. He found his he, voice. Yeah. He found his audience. He found his voice. Um, and That's he's, awesome. he's just an eager, like he's eager to share and he creates like these guides on, on Instagram. I don't know if you've seen them. So it's like a different feature on Instagram that I was not aware of. Basically it's like, know. It's really nice, actually. It's really cool. It's just unfortunate because I don't think you can track how well it's performing. You can't see likes. You can't see shares. You can't see anything. And so when you're putting out a guide... I don't think I've seen that. Right? It's also hard to locate. But if you go on his profile, you'll see IGTV, the feed, and all that stuff. There's also a guide there. So if oh, he's made a guide, it. yeah, you can click on it. And it's a really cool feature. Unfortunately, there, there's really no way to drive traffic there unless you... You basically tell your audience that you have a guide. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he puts out stuff like that. And it's amazing to see his growth. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to see how far he's he's gotten. And, you know, even especially I, I think, you know, he's always said that he's an introvert. He's afraid yeah, he yeah to his show story. his face in the beginning. But now, like, you see him all the time on his stories. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, just a super likable guy. So I just want to say props to him and thank you. Absolutely. And Major also props to him. I didn't know he hit 11,000. Yeah. Way yeah, to go. Yeah. Well deserved. Also to Absolutely. Spencer Ryan. He's another guy that is super, super. He hit 11 too, I think. Did he? I they're, think. They're going to surpass us like in no time, Chelsea. They are. So... Well, Michael Evans already has. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's um... see, Spencer. He is also at 11.7. <laughs> There you go. That's awesome. I'm so proud of I'm them. I'm so happy for them. Yeah, because I, re I so still remember. Yeah, they, their accounts were. Yeah. And it just shows you how much, you know, when people are genuine, when people are just like good natured people, mm -hmm. um, always for the community and helping them out and just like supporting each other. And so when I say support, I'm not talking about follow for follow, you know, yeah. like genuine support. I, no one knows yeah. this, but. Every now and then, Spencer would send me 
um, not ju- not just um, text messages or DMs. Mm-hmm. He would send me video clips of either he would say something and just say, mm-hmm. "Hey, Michael, I hope you're doing well. Just wanted to say that I'm supporting this and that, whatever." Just mm-hmm. a super nice guy, and that's a personal um, interaction, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's very very different from liking a photo and commenting and. He's going above and beyond. And I mm-hmm. told him, I said, you know, I can feel it. I can feel it that he is at the cusp of just, you know, basically breaking through whatever invisible barrier that there is. And mm-hmm. he's just going to start snowballing into this amazing big account and just like mm-hmm. super nice YouTube channel, whatever it is that his goals are. I can feel it. So I yeah. see it in him. Um, so I just wanted to say, again, thank you, Spencer, Spencer Ryan and Michael Evans. And um, those are the two main guys that I really just want to thank today. Um, I feel like they deserve it because they've been super, super supportive and they've been along, you know, for the ride for the last seven or eight months. Yeah, they have. They were a couple of our first ones. Um, One I want to throw in is uh, Maxwell. Yes. I'm not sure his last name. I don't even know if we've ever known his last name, but Maxwell, he was another one that's been there right from the beginning. And he is also growing. Um, I don't know what his numbers are though. Yeah. Um, I haven't really caught, I'm not even caught up with his, um, his podcast cause he has a podcast too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's definitely another one. He's always okay. engaged with like always engaging with us in the comments and he's always like throwing jokes. I love it. Um, yes. yeah, Max sure. is definitely in there. Oh yeah. He sent me a link to try to, fi- for us to try to figure out like the streaming thing. Um, oh, okay. yeah. And that, you know, I also want to say thank you for that. Um, Mm -hmm. and oh, oh, I have another one, Chelsea. Okay. I keep forgetting about this guy. I don't know why I don't, I keep forgetting to mention him because I talk to him almost daily Uh His and it's daily setup tech. (laughs) So it's a second on. Yeah. Super nice guy. If you guys have any questions about PCs, like I honestly, or anything technical, anything Mm. technical, he is the guy. He is insanely detailed insanely mm-hmm. de- i can't even stress that it's hilarious how detailed this guy is hilarious because it makes me feel like i'm such a dumb dumb you know what i mean next to him is just like i know nothing like i absolutely know nothing you know next to this guy so and he's always eager to help and and like if i have a question i'd be like well what do you think about this and it's like he's my own personal google i don't mean to treat him like that but it's like he'll come up with results like Oh, I think this is better. And I think this and that, this is your, the advantage of this and that. And sometimes he would even give me better like pricing. I'm like, is this guy like Google? He'll be like, Oh, buy from this, uh, from this because it's actually cheaper or you buy from this. I don't want I don't know if you want to spend that much money. So he goes above and beyond. So definitely, um, I also want to say thank you to him. We message almost every day. He's the one who helped me set up this, um, or build this PC which is, mm-hmm. has been working amazingly, like no problems at all. So I, w- I just want to say thank you again to him. For sure. And he was on the podcast. A he was also on the podcast, ago, yeah. I think. Yeah. But, Who else? Who else are we thinking that? Um, um, I know uh, Spawn Point. He's one of my favorites. Okay, yeah. I definitely follow him too. Yeah. yeah. He posts um, a lot of gaming stuff. He does. And so uh, Milks, I am Milks, Matt. Of course. How can we forget today? Matt? So Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jordan Dunseith. Basically our guest. Our guest, <laughs> right? yeah. yeah. We yeah. want to say thank you to our guest. But I think, let me see. I think we have a couple more that I wanted to see. Because we didn't, unfortunately, you know, because we're scrappy because and because it's us. We, no, we didn't do any research. Yeah, we didn't really do any research. We were just like, oh, I want to thank some people that really inspire me. Um, mm-hmm. I can tell you, oh, I can tell you. Uh, the, basically just the people that I follow on my mm-hmm. feed a lot. And, you know, these yeah. are the same people. Envision. Andres Vidoza. Mm-hmm. I know we've been meaning to get him on the podcast. Our schedules are just not aligning. It's not him. It's ours. So it's a, um, it's we'll, tr- we'll try to get him on the podcast, but he's been super supportive and his work is amazing. I, mm-hmm. I have no doubts, you know, of him reaching 100K on YouTube. Oh, like He's going to get that play button in no time. Yeah, pretty soon. Um, Chow Codes. I follow him. I like, I really keep tabs on his oh, like, yes. yeah, content because I, really like I think he's going far. Um, mm-hmm. He's a great guy too. Like he's, he's building his own community. So he's mm-hmm. in a slightly different niche. Mm-hmm. So coders and stuff. And 
Yeah. Yeah. Just like really nice guy. Um, Eric Loomshot. Oh, always follow that guy because I, I just respect the work. Um, who else? If you guys want to learn about social media and just connecting with your audience, I urge you to follow Tom Ross Media. So it's oh, T O M R O S S M E D I A. And I've followed this guy ever since and I've learned a lot from him. And, you know, his, the things that he shares are, are real. They're mm -hmm. not, you know, they're not, he has a couple podcasts too, but I've, I've picked up a lot of things from following him. So definitely follow that guy. Um, also, I want to say, let me see. Well, we can't forget Jordan. Of course we are. Not Jordan Dunsey, but Jordan. Jordan Helmano. Helmano, Helmano. yeah. So yeah. we can't forget about him. Um, also. He was our very first guest before Micah. Yuzio. Yeah. Yeah. He was the 10th. It was the 10th episode. So it was, was. Yeah, the very, very Don't first guest. That. Yeah, for sure. Um, who else do I follow that I think needs or some, let me see. I'm looking through my feed right now and I'm like, these are new people. Like, how come I've never seen them before? <laughs> like, wait a minute. Yes. Um, I think the only other person that I can think of right now would be, oh, I lost him. Where did he go? I hate how IG keeps changing their their thing. Like I'm always just I'm always just confused. Oh well, well I'll figure it out. You know I'll figure out when it when it pops up on my my feed. I'm trying to refresh it just so I can I can see more. But yeah, these are basically the people that I I follow a lot. Um, give them a follow. Spencer Ryan. I am Evan. I am Michael Evans. Um, Daily Setup Tech. Um, Maxwell. Uh, how do you spell his IG name? I'm sure people will find it. It's um, like Amex. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I just, oh yeah. And also I can't, I can't, I can't even stress, uh, my thanks to people like, um, Tom Buck. So he's also on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Uh, his username is so darn Tom. And if you want to learn about podcasting, cause I think he's a teacher. So he's okay. by profession. So I think, you know, he really is good with giving instructions and just like insight. So those are the type of people that that I can easily get information from. So if you want to learn more, definitely follow him. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's that those are the ones that I can think. Also, I want to thank Nicole. We haven't yeah. seen Nicole in a while because she's been busy, busy with work. Ever since her sister got married, her okay. schedule's kind of been all over the place. Mm -hmm. So she's trying to figure things out. Hopefully we can get her. You know what? I was actually meaning to have her on the last episode. Yeah, yeah, she's busy though today. Yeah, she's busy today. Yeah. So um, also, we just never really got to talk about it. You know, yeah. like I haven't seen her in, in a while, but we still text. And yeah, hopefully next season, we'll have more of her. And yeah, obviously, actually, if there's anyone that I want to thank, probably the most this this first season, that would be Nicole. Because she's been, she's been a lot of the legwork, a lot of the work that they've not seen kind yeah. of behind the scenes and a lot of it you know, sure. through Instagram and stuff. So, yeah, a lot of that we have definitely to yeah. Nicole to thank for, for sure. Also, aside from creators that um, we want to thank, we also want to thank a couple of brands that have been very, very supportive. Like, I yes. can't, it would be very it, just disrespectful. It's just not nice to not even mention any of them. So one of them would be some products. Um, the CEO Yi, we've become, you know, we've had, uh, we've basically fostered this good relationship with him. Mm -hmm. And so um, he's been very supportive. Like he would give us some insight. And also, I would like to say thanks to Rode, Rode microphones for sure. Yeah. I mean, look at our stuff, right? Look at everything that you own. Yeah. I Super think. nice guys. Uh, absolutely love their, their, their products. And also, I want to say thank you to Grove Made. I don't know, Grove Made, um, they listen to the podcast too. Yeah, isn't that yeah. crazy? Yeah, that kind of blows my mind. So I know. I also want to say thank you to SwitchPod. SwitchPod. Over at SwitchPod. Yeah, for Caleb. Sure. Caleb, hey, how's it going, man? man? <laughs> that was a fun episode. <laughs> Chelsea and I looked so scrappy next to his setup. Like he turned on his camera, we're like, Oh, <laughs> like, he was in a studio. My first thing that I said when that man popped up was, look at you, Mr. Professional. I feel like I so He's like, I don't even know this guy. This guy doesn't know me. What am I talking about? It's so funny how we reacted that way. We're like, whoa. I know. 
like, <laughs> we're so silly. Crap. Oh, like- but Caleb, thank you for being on the podcast. Peter Lindgren, thank you for oh, finding Peter, the time. Thank yeah. you. We had such a blast with him. I love that guy. He is so cool. Like, I, I wish that we recorded like the, the, the first few minutes that we were talking to. Like, he's such a genuine guy. No. Right? So it was nice. fun. Yeah. I never, ever in a million years, eight months ago, thought that I would be talking to and no personally and i'm like friends with him now like we dm back and forth that i would be doing any of that with the office b-roll guy because that was the first video that i <laughs> yeah. saw of him and i'm i was like this guy's amazing really good good what content. is he doing all of that you guys you need to go if you've not already you need to go check out his office b-roll it's all handheld he shows you all of the behind the scenes and it's absolutely incredible it's so inspiring and and then knowing him on a personal level, knowing that he's just a really cool, down to earth guy yeah, is super nice, mind blowing to me. It's crazy, and it's great. Like this platform has allowed us to connect with people in that way, right? That's yeah. why I'm so thankful for this podcast, for the for the audience, and for all the support. And speaking of support, one guy I forgot to mention that I should not forget is Jared. Jared Spinks. Jared Spinks. How could we ever? I know. How can we ever forget him? All right, right. So he's super, super supportive. Um, yes. He, I think there was one week where we did not upload an episode and he like DM me. He's like, what happened to the episode? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I love that though. I know. And um, yeah, he, because of him, like I, we keep stealing his guests. It's so funny. I was like, I commented on his Twitter. I'm like, so uh, who's the next guest that we're going to steal from you? And he's like, I'm fine. Like, I'm going to steal your guests. I'm like, yeah, we're fine with that. Yeah. He stole He stole Jordan. And Jordan <laughs> reached out to me and she said, thanks to you guys, I was on uh, the Hive podcast. I'm yeah. like, we love Jared yeah. or Jordan, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Jared, Jordan, <laughs> inside joke. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, Jared, again, thank you for the support. Thank you for all the, the information, the knowledge that you have freely given to me and chelsea like okay. yeah we're definitely not we still don't think we're as professional as you no. <laughs> yeah so we're still intimidated by jared so yeah, it's hilarious but um but yeah, he's super know, nice guy. i i think this is a the perfect way to send everyone off with a bang I think from so. 2020 and kind of launch us into 2021 and we have high hopes for the podcast and we hope you guys stick around and enjoy all the fun things to come. And we hope you guys have such a much better year in 2021. Absolutely. And so, in case we forget anyone or if we forgot someone, anyone, we do, we honestly don't mean it. We didn't mean it. But you know who you are. You know who yeah. you are who have supported us and helped us through the, these eight months. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And unless you have anything else, Michael, I think we just need to wrap it on up and- yeah, no, nothing. I would just say I wish everyone a very, very wonderful holiday break. Yes. Whatever you guys are doing, please be safe out there and keep creating. Yeah, absolutely. Just keep starting and keep creating. And un- until next year, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for hanging out with your favorite coffee and pizza crew. My name is Chelsea. And this is Michael signing off. Bye. Bye.